Hello everyone, time to grind here, and today it's finally happening. We're finally playing RoboQuest. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know what this is, this is a first-person shooter roguelike, very similar to Gunfire Reborn, uh, and it's been an early access. Uh, people have been begging me to play this game, especially because we enjoyed Gunfire Reborn so much, and I kept saying we're waiting until 1.0, and 1.0 came out a couple days ago. I didn't even know it was happening. It happened. We're gonna finally get to play 1.0, because I just, I don't know, these types of games, some games are just want to wait until 1.0 and this was one of them so we're gonna play it uh hopefully have a lot of fun start adventure here so 2070 somewhere on earth max do you read me yes copy your village copy you village it's the person's name village you're nearly out of range i'm on my way now oh i'm i'm on my own now I'm a, I'm a very good reader, as you could tell. I love these comics here. This reminds me of Borderlands in a very different way. Because we always say Gunfire Reborn is Borderlands roguelike. This definitely reminds me of Borderlands. Whoa. A whole freaking robot. Calm down, calm down. What, a robot's just not... Re oh, school? S score? I don't even know... You're, you're quite in good shape for an antique. That's antique? So, okay, this is like really future then. Which I guess makes sense. We're playing a game called RoboQuest. I've got just the thing. Robo, Robo Boys Alive. Hey, where are you going? So that robot's gonna just slaughter an entire uh, orphanage right now. So he's pointing his first victim. Me? <laughs> what are we waiting for? So we're just we're just best buds now. Or we're both on the way to the orphanage. I don't know. Oh dude, I love these art styles. I love this art style. Okay. Okay. I can get behind this. I can get behind this. Press any key to continue here. We may have to uh, adjust to some settings or something here real fast. Uh, we did a lot of them already, but sometimes you gotta wait, you know, so I gotta let me I mean let me be a professional YouTuber here. Uh, if, uh, if we're in a streamer here, if you will, uh, mind me. I, or I tried to do all the other things. Okay, so move. We can do that. Easy peasy. Let's try to open that door. Give me a sec. Yo, dude, this art style is sick. Okay, you, you open it? No, we can't open it. Whoopsie, that didn't work. Intruder access denied. Looks like someone didn't doesn't want us in. Okay, this little guy doesn't look friendly. Crush it. So V is punch with your bash or head bonk it by jumping on its head. Okay. Okay, we're definitely going to change uh, that at some point in time. Um, yeah, in fact, we're going to do that right now. There we go. Okay. Okay, we're good. Pick up the gun. It's my gun now. Um, okay, so crosshair. I improved your crosshair's functions. Which do you prefer? Max is special. My special lowered crosshair. It increases the verticality you can perceive. The classered, classic centered crosshair. It works fine, but well, you know it's not mine. What? Okay, so it's saying that it has its own special version to make it look like we're taller? Okay, we'll try Max's special. I mean, we'll... Oh... Oh, no. Why do I, I feel like I got like a giant head? I feel like I'm, I'm like, my forehead's like 7 billion pounds. Um, give me off of Max's special. I appreciate what you tried to do. Um, I'm just, uh, no, we're not, we're not doing that here. Um, and, uh, okay. now there's kitties trying to attack me. I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> I just want to play the game. <laughs> Oh my god, you said you you I could change it. You said I could. Um how do I I mean I guess it doesn't matter that much. Um Oh, recenter crosshair. Okay. Return. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I just I could I can't deal with that. Okay, we're going. See now I don't have like a big I, I get what they're trying to do, right? Whatever. Okay, so it's time to set up your sprint. Do we want to toggle? You can use both behaviors, hold and toggle at once. Ooh, yes. Hold and toggle at once. Yeah, both. That seems okay, dude. The settings here. Oh my gosh. This is actually an incredible. This is probably one of the better tutorials I think of it. Like, 
I don't know. I've never like wow. No, this is I really love what they're doing here. This is this is some next level shit. Okay, so uh, hey, looks like you've got some kind of defensive uh, device ability. Uh, Bastion makes you invulnerable and consumes battery. You can turn it on and off to save battery. Battery generates. Um, okay, there's a kitty on my uh, computer, but I'm gonna let him stay there for right now. Uh, I have a stuffed animal over the power button. Okay, so we're shooting. It's a it's a shooter. It's a shooter. That's the game that we're playing here. That's what we're doing. I took damage because I'm a dumbass. Uh, taking damage reduces your health part as part of uh, a part of health lost is stored as scratch damage, dropping down to zero health when you run. Okay, taking damage, dude. I'm having either a stroke or I've suddenly become dyslexic today. I don't understand. Taking down an enemy drops healing cells, which quickly disappear. Gathering them repairs a part of your scratch damage or restores a small amount of your health. Using the repair bot repairs all of your scratch damage and restores a part of your health. Okay. Okay, makes good here. Let's go. Let's go. Played this with a buddy of mine a while back. Pretty decent game. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited, especially with 1.0. I've heard nothing but good things about this game. The cat makes biscuits with a stuffed animal. Pretty dangerous game. He, they, they normally do that on blankets. They haven't done that as, as much anymore. So overall, freaking love this. Love this to death. This game's sick. And we, oh yeah, we had the... Okay. Oh, there's level ups. Taking down an enemy gets you experience. When your experience bar is full, you level up, increasing your power and health. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Oh, perk selector. Oh, okay. So is it, I wonder if it's random. If it's constantly a choice of two. If so, that's cool because it's like more roguelike, like randomization replayability. While Bastion is active, increases weapons damage by 30%. Uh, fire rate by 30, movement speed, or transforms Bash into Bonk Hammer and increases its damage. Bash takedowns. Okay, yeah. Whatever. Let's do melee build. Let's do melee build. I never really do melee builds. Let's do it. I crafted a repair robot. Use it to heal yourself. Okay. Robot on robot action. Could you check out what's inside the weird structure for me? Sure. Whatever you, whatever you want. So is this like a normal run now, or what, what are we doing here? Is that damage? Choose a weapon. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, so we have a fox gun. Do I want an... Oh, uh, let's do a shotgun, because we're doing a melee build. Okay, and how do I... I don't know how to switch weapons. Will it tell me? Otherwise, I could look. Because I'm switching... Oh, no, no, the fox... It was just the pistol. I'm dumb. I thought we had something else. We didn't. Um, she down here? Okay. Awesome! You found some firepower, let's move on then. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, 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 what, what? Okay, okay, so... Okay, I get it now. Bonk, 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 Because they're just doing this constantly. <laughs> this is actually pretty amusing. We're playing a shooter and we're not shooting, y'all. I love it. Bonk, bonk. Bonk. It was a turret the whole time. Bonk. Oh. Bonk. Okay. You know what? No. You get shotgun. Bonk. Okay. Maybe I could use my shotgun and also bonk. Okay. This is this is pretty sick. Uh, I could already tell you guys this will be a series. Um, I feel like it's... I don't care if anyone doesn't watch this, right? I mean, we played Gunfire a lot, even though those weren't the most popular videos. There will be more of videos of this game. So if you if you already are liking this game, I can TTG guarantee. I can do TTG guarantees outside of just whether I win runs. TTG guarantee there'll at least be three videos of this game. Um, okay, hopefully way more. Uh, the control panel displays information about the map, your class, weapons, perks, and more. Cool. That's a gamer thing to do, I suppose. They took a gunfire off of Game Pass. I'm so mad. I know a lot of people you oh 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 whoa whoa wait if I just hold it down oh that what I I wasn't holding it down maybe my mouse was stuck or something I don't know uh yeah I don't know a lot of people use gum, uh, game pass and so station looks like the perfect spot to settle could you just fix a generator oh I'm stunned whoops sorry I think it's safe now so now we know what how to get out of stuns that's a good way to do the tutorial 
That was a cool way to do a tutorial. It was like us setting up to what I'm assuming is our base camp. Yeah. Welcome to our base camp. We'll handle all our expeditions from here. Feel free to take a tour and make yourself at home. Choose your difficulty. Um, harder challenge for experienced first person. Let's stay on standard. I am an experienced first person player, but let's, let's do standard and go up if we want to later. Um, gotta say, uh, best tutorial I've played in a very long time. Um, to be completely honest, especially for like a first person game that has a lot of really complexity things and, and mechanics and things. Don't, no, yeah, sometimes it keeps doing that. Okay, so this is really cool. So, uh, that's, I guess, how we start the game. Okay. Uh, that's to change difficulty. This is to select classes. Look at how many classes there are. Fuck, yes. That's a lot of classes. Oh, wait. Or are these different starting? Maybe these are different items. These are the classes. Okay, I was like, that, are we talking about like brotato level classes? That's still a lot of classes though. So there's classes that we can unlock in the future. Uh, we can open up the workshop um, and uh, start the run with the choice. Okay, so this does seem to be a rogue light. There does seem to be some sort of meta progression in the workshop. Uh, Brobot lounge. Uh, this I believe is maybe because this game I'm pretty sure is yeah, multiplayer. And then the museum is yeah like stereotypical collection really cool though really cool 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 okay so let's play the game let's play the video game that we're here to play we're gonna win our first run totally that's what's gonna happen here all right buddy this is my first time exploring there and with those nasty bots around me i'm glad you're with me cool is that it is that you need more starter pack so we can either get a mine launcher, dual sawed offs. Fuck yeah, dual saw. I mean, the other thing sounded cool, but um, I like the double jump because I don't really like mech shooters, but like this. Oh, but this is this is beyond. Like this is just kind of like you get one jump and then it goes like you know little 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 sound effect. I don't think I can I can do this here. No. Okay, maybe I need something else. I don't know. Let's go shoot people. Okay, wait, do I just hold... Is this a game where... Okay, I just hold left click. I don't have to individually... Yeah, I don't right click here. I'm used to crab champions. I don't remember... Does... uh? No, I was thinking... Yeah, what does Reaper do in Overwatch? Anyone that, like... Is still hurting their mental health with uh, Overwatch. Oh, you can... Oh! 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 What? You can gr oh, you grind on the thing. That is so satisfying, dude. This game's a banger. This game's a bop. This game's a certified bop. I can tell you that right here. Right. I knew it was. I mean, people have been begging me to play this game. I was just like, let me just wait till 1.0. You know, it's a game that I know is gonna be so good that I just really just wanna wait and experience it in all of its glory. And that's what we're doing literally right now. I mean, this is this is hype. Like, I don't know. I'm. I, it's it's gonna be very hard to say like th if this is better than Gunfire Reborn. But yeah, they took Skull the Hero Slayer off Game Pass. Oh, I thought you were saying they took it off of Steam. I was like, what? Okay, what is this? Close your eyes and replay the moment when TTG discovered the rail grind. I don't like that. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, pick up a power cell. What is that? Or you get some cool weapons. Arctic rifle deals cryo damage. Okay. Cryo. Okay. So we're leaving the pistol. Now we have like a cryo. Ooh, dude. This is sick. This is sick. Welcome, welcome everyone tuning in. For those of y'all just tuning in. Playing first person shooter roguelite. It just came out in 1.0 that we've been waiting to play, and it's kind of a bop. Leveled up. Dude, this game, uh, this game gameplay is really, really nice. Uh, is there someone? No, we're good. Okay. So we can either have tiny punch every point. I do, I love the way this perk system works, honestly. Because with Gunfire Reborn, there's more specific builds, and there's probably builds in this, but this feels more like a roguelike where there's going to be a lot more variety. So... Sounds like the YouTube stream has low game audio compared to on Twitch. Huh. Highly recommend Titanfall 2, my absolute favorite. I love that game. I actually have a video or two on that game, I think. 
Um, some gameplay. Every 0.5 seconds, your next weapon shot fires one homing projectile, doing 20 damage. Yo, yep. Every 0.5 seconds, we get homing bullets. So those things appear in the uh, top for us here. Also, yeah, let me know if uh, the gameplay audio should be louder. I get it probably be a little bit louder, right? I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all can let me know. Oh, no, that's too loud now. Dude, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. There were a lot of changes made uh, when we did... Uh, that should be good. Let me know if it's too loud, too quiet. Hopefully, that's a little bit better. Um, oh, what is this? Okay, uh, carbine... Well, do I... Nah, I mean... I'm, f I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you, though. So, can I just... Oh, I could save these, though, couldn't I? You need five more of those... I've analyzed those locked doors, and it seems like we need some sort of keys to open them. Okay. So this is like, uh... Might be a little bit of, like, doom or something. Oh, jeez. Okay, suicide bombers. That's what those are. So I wonder if I can actually see the homing bullets when they trigger. Took a little bit of damage. A little bit of damage. Nothing too bad. So I wonder how different, like, the areas are, right? Because I'm assuming this roguelike... Um, also, this is interesting. So does every gun have infinite ammo? Probably. That's what gunfire does. Um, which I like. Because, um, like, I don't know. It can be important to manage your ammo, but, like... Oh. That's cool. That's cool. I do, indeed, like grinding on the rails. We need, to, we need to play a skating game at some point in time. Some Tony Hawk game. I think I, I had one of those games on the Wii at some point. Of all, of all platforms. Oh, see, there's like a thing. It just like, I think that's my mouse. I like, if I do it like two times, it'll sometimes just keep doing it. This is a really good spot here. This is a really good spot for me to be. Um, I haven't really, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, G drops your gun. Okay. I was like pressing G just in case I had like a grenade or something, but I'm assuming it would have told me if I had a grenade. I'm sure you can get grenades. Junk rifle. I do not want a junk rifle. Oh, that was whatever that dude wanted. That scientist guy. If you're looking for a super interesting skater game, should play Roller Drum. Oh yeah, I've seen that. I, I saw someone talk about that. I think I saw, maybe that was like Game Maker's Toolkit or something. That did look cool. Um, there's some, maybe some parkour? I don't know. Probably, but mainly it's maybe going for back. There's a lot of verticality, which I really like. Especially when you have like a double jump, makes it really fun. Man. I mean, I think maybe just because it's the most, like, it's the new and exciting thing. But this game's making me pretty hype right now. Like, I don't know if I could, like, it's gonna, it's gonna take me a while before I can say something, like, is gonna be better than, like, my new favorite first-person shooter roguelike. Because obviously that was Gunfire Reborn before that, right? Like, didn't have much competition, but now that they're both 1.0, you know. I don't know. I don't know. It's like Skater X first per uh, Skater and a first person shooter with tricks and combos. Yeah. It seemed really, really cool. It does. Uh, so we completed the canyons. Huh. So I wonder, did we need to go back to those doors if we found a key? I don't know how that works. So now we're in the oasis. Water. I hope it's clean. I should analyze it to see if we could use it back at the village. Does that say something? Looks like it's like some si oh access denied. Okay, okay. There's something, something though. Um. Okay. So I can heal a little. I get a chest. Okay. So we'll go ahead and switch the duelies for do. Okay, the dual shotguns. We got dual Uzis instead. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, this is, this is, this is, okay, okay, okay. Music's pretty good, too. It's definitely a different vibe than Gunfire Reborn, for sure. Th this feels a lot more arcade -y. 
and faster pace than Gunfire Reborn, and uh, I mean, I'm definitely okay with that. I like both styles of it, but come on, how do I, okay. Oh, maybe you have to jump on it. Whoa, hello there. Yeah, I need to try to use, oh, I got an achievement to do 10,000 damage. Don't think that's a very hard thing to do, probably. Uh, I want my, I want my bonk build back. You know, normally I don't like melees. I don't know why I was like so into that. I really like this cryo gun. This cryo gun is very satisfying to use. Okay, do it. We don't need to heal, so okay. Tiny punches, uh, projectiles, ricochet on one enemy. Oh, this is gonna be a fun roguelike. Rug light, y'all. Oh, we're getting stuff like that. Okay, we're not just doing like, oh, you would do like 10% more damage. I mean, I think that is what one of those upgrades was or something, but like, oh, that's fun. That's fun. Bouncy cryo bullets right now. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a blast right now already. I bet, it, I bet you can, like, feel really OP in this game. Definitely starting to fight some bullet sponges. That's fair. Okay, okay. Doing, doing quirky things here. Did the cryo gun overheat or freeze up? Yeah, so it doesn't have ammo. Oh, and yeah, the reason I... I try. I was trying to be all smart and put my camera like there, so you could. Because I know, like some times, like I cover like even the ammo and crab champions. People don't like that. This is pretty easy to do that. I don't know. That might look weird, but I'm trying to let you guys see my ammo because people always talk about wanting to see the ammo. So if it really looks weird, let me know and I can put myself in the corner. But it's a bow. I don't really want to give up either of these, honestly. Wait, is this still? Oh, wait. So actually, I'm I'm curious. So is the dual e Uzis are a mag, but article, I'm trying, oh, so it tells you, tiny punches, wait, why does these not bounce, but these do? I know it's probably because this is hit scan and those are projectiles, but I'm just trying to see like where that is told to me. You know what I mean? I don't even see the bounce thing anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, th there's a thing in the top left. So, did, was it... Did I, like... I'm trying to think, like, did I just upgrade one of my weapons? Is that what I did? I didn't get a perk? I don't I don't know what happened there. Because I see an Ar Arctic Rifle, it now says bounce, projectiles bounce. But I don't know... I don't know. No, but see, no, wait, I can still see... I still have a perk in the top left. I just don't know why it's not showing me all my perks. In the top left. A little bit weird. I don't know. I don't know if it's a glitch or just some things aren't shown. But, I don't know. We've only played this game for 24 minutes, so... I imagine we'll, uh, we'll, we'll figure things out the more we play. And I'm okay with that. Okay. Oh, I forgot there was a sprint. Am I supposed to be able to get up here? Probably not. Oh! Area discovered. Hidden sanctuary. Pick up the javelin. Oh, we unlocked the ranger! We already unlocked a class. That was pretty easy. I'm sure we were supposed to do that. Well, let's go. Give swim trunks? Huh. So if we find swim trunks, we can bring him swim trunks. And we just unlocked a new freaking class. Let's go. Uh, bow and arrow. Huh. Okay. Well, I probably, this probably, yeah, it's actually probably just objectively better to use the projectile since it bounces. Because they're both about the same rarity of weapons, so probably just focus on this, right? Yo, yo, everyone tuning in. Woo. Checking out shooty roguelike. Came out in 1.0. Oh man. 
So yeah, we can get kind of close if we use our ability. This is a pretty cool ability. It just kind of like, it doesn't have a cooldown. It's got like, you know, the battery that takes a little bit of time to charge. Cool way to do that. Cool way to do that. Okay, so I think I just have to, yeah, I think you just got to have your double jump be on that. Oh, or you could just land. Oh, wait, also, oh, I forgot you can jump on enemies, too. Isn't that like a whole thing? You can Mario them? I don't think it does much. I think it just, you can if you want to. Yeah, it does like a little bit of damage. I'm, I'm guaranteed there's probably a character. Okay, I think it killed that one. Probably a character that prioritizes or focuses on that or something. Where? Oh. So small, I didn't even see him. Kramer. The John Kramer. John Madden. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that, uh, Kramer... I, I, I'm wondering if that... If the Kramer means something in some other language, or if it's a, somehow a reference to... Kramer from... Oh, what's that sitcom? Seinfeld? Y'all haven't seen Seinfeld. Seinfeld's pretty sick. But yeah, Kramer was like... A lot of people's favorite characters, and then he got canceled because he was in a... He was, he was a com comedian, obviously, and he was a, doing in a comedy show. Um, and, uh... Some, some black guy was, was like... I, I, he got in an argument with someone, and he called him the N-word. That, that's the story. Uh, and, uh, yeah, don't do that. Because he kind of he kinda got <laughs> rightfully canceled. Because, um, like, especially doing that during your comedy club, like, it's so weird, right? So... Don't call people the N-word. Fun fact of the day. Let's see, uh... Well, I guess, in particular, especially if, if you're white, probably probably don't do that. Right. That, <laughs> that is probably... Fun fact of the day. Oh, this is, this is the hardest platforming I've ever done. Oh, we finally got a blue? Every three shot fires three projectiles. But will those projectiles... Bounce? Well, yeah, duh. But... I don't know. I don't know what is... I don't know. I don't know about that bounce thing. The map definitely opened up a little bit more. So, so far we're doing pretty good here. We got that thumper if we wanted. Which, this is actually pretty good. Maybe if there's like a lot of them. It's kind of like, I feel like all of the weapons that we've had have been, well, uh, no, this definitely feels pretty powerful. I mean, because this should be better. This is a higher rarity, at least. Yeah, level three hump, uh, thumper and a level one arctic, arctic uh, rifle. Okay. Uh, okay. So those are level three, but they're common. So it's like the damage on that versus this. Huh, okay. Uh, key, we found a key to the ruins. So I wonder if that's meta progression or if we like backtrack or something, I don't know. Opinions on the Steam Deck OLED. Oh yeah, it's cool that they're, uh, yeah, they announced uh, making a new, uh, oh, one second. Uh, found three wrenches. I can't believe she made me build all of this. My joints are completely jammed. Fortunately, good old Diggy gave me a hand or rather a drill or I'd have been here all night. I just want to have a quiet day, all right. How do I get back home now? Never mind. All roads lead to heaven eight anyways. Huh. Okay. Um, no, yeah, it's sick that they're making the uh, the new the new Steam Deck. I mean, I'm totally happy with mine. Um, but it's cool that I think they sold, said they were like selling. It sold thousands of them or something. So pretty sick. That purplish thing has taken over that door as well. And it seems to be spreading all over the lands. Oh, minus 941. So I'm assuming you have to speed run to get to that door. My, that's my guess. It also seems like the guns have... Um, wait a minute. No way you can... Oh, I also think I forgot to level up last time. I think I haven't le leveled up like in the last time or two. But everybody watching on YouTube's like yelling at me through the screen. Ooh. Okay, okay. So, Robo Food, gathering a healing cell generates one point for two seconds. Each point increases all damage uh, by one and armor by 0.5, or every five seconds, your next bat 
Bash fires a piercing arc over 13 meters. Dealing 150% increased damage and regenerating 25% battery. So it's saying every 20, every 4 seconds. Wait, every 25, your next bash. So do I have to hit him? Bash. Unless perform a melee, bash takedowns, bash takedowns. Huh, okay. Also, if you bash a boss, you get three healing cells. Huh. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I don't I don't know. A little bit confused on a lot of these things. That is okay. We were so confused when we first started playing Gunfire Reborn. And overall it's more just like I'm curious how the nitty gritty interactions work, you know? It does feel like some of some of the times, like it's not allowing me to do multiple actions at once in a weird way that makes me feel a little bit clunky. Like I can't, I feel like I'm having a harder time. Well, see, I'm now now I'm doing it. It's like I'm having a harder. There's like more of a delay before I like successfully like melee if I'm in the middle of like doing a bunch. And then there was a time there where like I was trying to do something and I switched weapons and it felt slow. But I don't know. Not, I can't really replicate it. It just sometimes in the moment. Feel a little bit. Uh, what the hell was that? A little bit slow. That's okay though. We are supposedly we're, we're a mech, so. So wait, can I? Is there wall running? Is this is this Titanfall 2? I don't think so. I think that's just the overall jetpack. Okay. Anything here? Did it drop something? A bull shotgun. Man, I want to keep this, but it's only a level one though. Whatever. We'll keep it. Seems seems good against like flying enemies. I'm using this uh, rocket launcher or grenade launcher uh, for like pretty much most of the enemies. But if there's a ton of flying enemies, I will definitely pull out the other thing. I don't think I can hurt myself. Okay, is that it? This reinforced door was pretty well guarded. I guess we reached some kind of Hot spot uh, for them. You better watch out. Okay. I don't need the health. Uh-oh. We got a boss. Diggy Mole. Oh, dude. This music's pretty sick. Oh, jeez. Dude, this music's really sick. This is some sick music. This is a dope boss fight. I'm just trying to save my shield for when he's coming at me. Dude, this boss fight is insane. The music. Oh, this is. This game makes you feel something. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. I'm trying to use the shield here tactically. I. Don't really understand that shockwave thing. Oh, damn! 42 damage? Uh-oh. Did he spawn people? What? Ha oh my god! Thank god for that shield. What is happening? What are those... Oh, dude, this is an insane boss fight. I'm telling you guys, we're winning first run. Oh, card collected, Diggy Mole. Let's do it. Every four seconds, your melee is longer than it should be. Huh, okay. I guess I wasn't looking at the battery on your shield. On my shield, I just wasn't seeing like a big laser or something. That was crazy. 
I was not expecting a cutscene. Whoa, that's a big front door. Let's crack it open. Like, what? what is our role? What are, are we doing? What is our motivation? Are we the bad guys? Hold tight. Arg, human vermin. You're sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. Vermin, seriously? Bye bye, nasty little virus. Okay, let's do this. Arg, why, why won't it open? Password? Hmm, 1234? Access granted. Welcome to Haven 8. So we just got the right password. I think your motivation right now is to find some swim trunks. True. So now we're in the fields. Haven 8, complete chapter 1. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Um, so we definitely need our heal now. Max's chest. Ooh, tomahawk. Yeah, okay. Increase weapons. Increase weapons pocket. Reload speed. Okay, well, we will, yeah, go ahead and get a freaking tomahawk. That's pretty sick. And has a chance to fire twice. So it's like, oh, these things have modifiers. These damn tin cans were harvesting food here all along while we're starving in the desert. Oh, so it's about seizing the means of production. Okay, let's go. I can get behind that. I can get behind that. Seize the means of production. Oh, geez. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. They don't want their productions uh, uh, seized. Whoa, buddy, buddy. Okay, leveled up. Dude, I love this tomahawk. Uh, punch Gatling, destroy Bastion, deploying Bastion. What is, oh, Guardian primary ability, reduces tiny punch cooldown. Um, oh, that's interesting. So we would do more homing shots when we use it. Uh, okay, sure. Hmm. So when we're in our thing, more we have more bullets home? Okay. I love this tomahawk. And then if, you know, we use the thumper when there's a lot of enemies. I like this build. Okay, yeah, this is a... Definitely a lot different enemies than the last one. I like that it feels real uh, distinct, right? Got some things, projectiles we gotta jump over. Someone else here? Okay. Well, we get to be good. We Gucci. Love the reload animation for this. There was something. Well, dang turret. Okay. A lot. It's a lot. Whoa. Looked like one of those went invisible, but like in some smoke or something, but I don't I don't know. Oh jeez. Got it. Oh, no. I don't know what that was. See? This should be our lettuce. We must seize the lettuce. Oh, whoa, 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 there. Yeah, I love this verticality. Oh, the, the maps here are built so around them. This is amazing. Like having these kind of like upper things. Upper areas. Oh, I can't believe I took that damage. And I, I remember that health disappears after a while, so. 
Okay, let's uh, let's, let's wait. Let's wait. Let's chill here for a second. Uh, mini. Oh, okay. Mini gun. Uh, thumper. Is it time to switch out the thumper? Probably. Oh, what? I heard something. Okay. Um. Mammoth mini gun. Yeah, let's switch out the thumper here. I will say the music is always constantly. Though this isn't blue. I think I think this is fine. Um, the music is so intense that like I'm constantly at like an energy level of ten with this game, which is sick because that's a cool experience. But I could see getting a little exhausted every now and then. This doesn't feel as good. Oh my gosh. This doesn't feel good at all. I want my thumper back. Oh, I, okay, yeah. I definitely saw the homing projectile there. And we are taking... We're about to die. Run's about to be over. Run's about to be over. I thought... My, oh my god! This scared the crap out of me. Yo. We need to make it to an area that heals us. Whoa, I keep hearing things. But what is up here? Okay, another area. Let's, let's what's behind this door? Can we even get to it? I need a break. Okay. Oh, okay. This is this is very Oh god. Oh. Uh, okay, power cell, what is that? Yeah, what, what is a power cell? Heal me? Or is that out of game progression? I think that's out of game progression. Well, you know what? We just started the game having out of game progression. Not a bad thing. Is this a secret? Secret? Secret tunnel! Data log, three wrenches, all the robots have gone mad. How do they expect us to survive outside the city? Iris, help us. We want to stay here. Heaven 8 citizen. Oh, so we're starting to get lore of what happened. So maybe this used to be a normal city and a bunch of ro evil robots took over? Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa there. That was trippy. Okay, well, we're about to die, so let's not do that. Okay, we gotta play this like it's a stealth game now. Playing a stealth game right here. Okay. I'm telling you. Playing a stealth game. Oh, that that is some big enemies. I want to make sure we get the healing. It is kind of motivating me to push forward since healing disappears. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're about to die. 15 HP. Oh, oh my god. This, this seems to be like some uh, elite enemy. He's big on the mini map. Oh, he's coming. You don't like me talking shit about him. Oh god, it's coming. We must advance and probably die. Uh oh! I almost just died there. Dude, that's so much health. I don't, I... Oh... I don't think it has regenerating health at least. Oh! Almost died once again. This is ridiculous. It's we're gonna kill it or like get so close and then we're gonna die. I, I'm calling it now. There we go. There we go. There we go. A bunch of healing. Okay. Okay. Are are we are we are we okay? Can we be okay now? Can we be okay? Am I okay? Hey. 
Hello. Oh, he wants a blunderbuzz. I don't got that for you. I found another weird lock out there. I guess we need some kind of specific pass to open it up. Well, we unlocked some key last time. I don't know what type of key it is. Um, okay. Well, no healing for me. No healing. Wait, wait. I see the healing. Oh, what? Oh, there's a healing thing behind this. So we're going to need some meta progression to get a key, I bet. So then we can have healing here. Because as of right now, we don't get any healing. This is definitely meta progression. Definitely roguelite. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Be aggressive. Get the health. Almost die like every second. Oh, I used the shield there at a perfect time, might I add. We just got to be a gamer. Simple as that. Dude, if this game's all about meta progression, even more of a reason why we need to be a gamer and beat it without meta progression. Oh, is the key on the map? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, we found one key. There's a yellow enemy. I don't know what that means. Something came through. Oh my gosh. Loving the weapons in this game. I like how you can pretty consistently heal up your health. Even like your your like permanently hurt health. It's just at like a lot slower of a rate. I like that. A lot of games like you gotta like do very specific things. I've been playing a lot of Dark and Darker lately. Um, which is a very different type of game. Like an extraction based game. But um, it's got like, you know, permanent damage. Oh, I took damage. And, uh, you know, it's like a whole thing. It's a whole thing. It's like hidden enemies. Okay. Dude, like the music just non-stop badassery. Yellow enemies, a timed enemy. Okay, yeah. Like kill a bunch of rewards. That's what I was assuming. Increase elemental damage or using tactical slap reloads your... Weapon and grants infinite ammo for 1.5 seconds. Um, I don't want to do swift reload. We don't have any elemental. I'd like some elemental, but so if I do, I yeah, I forgot. I need to be doing that more often. It gives me more shield. That was like a whole part of our build. And I, why can't I? That was so weird. I was like stuck in a certain situation. Why am I? What? What is happening? Why? Why am I? Why am I moving constantly this way? What is happening? What is happening? Is something getting typed on my keyboard? I don't, I don't. Oh, okay. We're good. I, I don't understand what happened there. Yeah, all those homing uh, things, pretty cool. Oh god, 52 damage. Like, we end up doing- s Oh my god, we're about to die again. Dang. Oh, see, like, okay, yeah. Like, I was trying to melee and it took a longer than- It always takes me longer than I expect to, like, get the melee out. Dude, looking at the mini-map is OP for those guys. Oh, okay. Health? Can I have healing now? Oh, okay, nope, nope. In fact, this might be it. Yeah, this might be it. I'm trying. Nope. Oh my god, am I trying. Nope, there it is. <laughs> Knock out. Game over, fields. Total wrenches, 20. Total run time, it's 27 minutes. Okay, so let's see what this meta progression is like here. Because it is definitely a roguelite. Hey, it looks like you found some uh, wrenches. I think I might be able to get something out of them. Collect wrenches during your runs. Spend them at the workshop to unlock permanent upgrades and improve your base camp. Awesome, it seems you found a new loadout. Each class has its own specific abilities and talents. You can consult and select classes in the class area of the locker room. Okay, so let's go check out. Let's do the uh, class here first. So we had unlocked... Um, what is this? Oh, so these are just... Tactical Slap. So 
it seems like there's a bunch of different random perks you get. And then if you get random perks, there's uh, more future like, so I had found tactical slap and then later on we were able to find swift load. So it seems like that's like that for everyone. So everyone has their own kind of uh, items that they'll find, which is very interesting here. So the, the next class we'll save for uh, next time because we'll definitely play another video. So if you want to see more, let me know. Uh, but for sure, stay tuned if you want. There'll be a ranger video. Um, okay, so that's cool. Um, and then workshop here. Okay, so we have to start from this first here. So you start the run with a choice between four weapons. Um, Max sometimes deploys uh, Bizarre Bob, a friendly bot that can craft items using power cells. Um, Max sometimes deploys Smithing Joe, a friendly bot that can forge weapons using power cells. So wait, are power cells... Okay, so wrenches were the out of game progression. Power cells seems to have been in-game progression. I just don't think we had any way to what anything to do with it, right? Since we had, um, we didn't have these things. Or Max sometimes deploys uh, Chef Paul, a friendly bot that can upgrade your weapons using power cells. So let's go ahead, since we have 20, we'll find more weapons eventually. That's really nice. But let's go ahead and get uh, Chef Paul. So he, we can sometimes upgrade our weapons in the runs. We'll go ahead and um, Bizarre Bob, uh, where we can craft some items, and then Smithing Joe, right? So that's pretty cool. So uh, we next time we play, when we play as the Ranger, there'll be a lot of things that we can actually spend our money on, apparently. Uh, and um, then uh, there's a lot more, a lot more to unlock here. Um, it is interesting that we can just see exactly what they are. So uh, things like um, one token of reroll perks, weapons have more affixes, uh, increase maximum health by five when leveling up, uh, chance and max chess, uh, items in Max's chest have a chance of being fantastic. Um, deploys are friendly bots once more. So there's, there's a couple things, um, a couple interesting things, um, and stuff like that. There's also things like this, which I'm assuming once you get all of them, you can get this like elite enemies drop more power cells. So some of them are unique. Some of them are more just kind of generic. Um, but not like crazy, crazy generic or anything, right? I mean, the, the, the gameplay is going to be coming from other things. I don't know why I keep... Something is happening. I, I'm once again back to just going to the left. I don't... I don't... Uh, I don't quite know what causes this. Um, but when I alt-tab and I alt-tab back in, it fixes it. So I don't, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> maybe it's my computer, but either way, this game is freaking sick. We're definitely going to play more of this game in the future. Uh, this game is uh, really, really, really cool. So, uh, if, you know, if you're watching on YouTube, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys, you know, subscribe, ring that bell, like all the big boy YouTubers say, uh, to be notified uh, when more, uh, you know, uh, Rebel Quest videos come out. If there are some, they'll be on the screen right next to me. Uh, and if you guys are going to be grinding out some Robo Quest on your own, then I wish you guys luck and see you all next time.